That's a very good question. Also, so the question is why do we need to make effort in order to be present? Now I want to force this kind of look into this to be present. Yeah, this this being present is actually it's some kind of it it's it's a it's a teaching, it's a it's a it's a method connected to awareness. However, it has been now diluted and is being influenced. This term, I believe. Uh, and you can see it all the time on the streets and all of that. So, so be present. Be present. I guess at the highest level, <laughs> it means this this state of being where one is aware, one is aware and conscious of what's happening here and now, <laughs> because the only thing we have is here and now. You know, the the past is is uh, past is an image everything all the past all this is an image a memory image arising in the now it's not real it's not past it's just an image and the future all the future that you can imagine it's actual the imagination it's an image <laughs> based on the past so there is no past and future is always now 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 always now so coming back to my point here uh being present, actually, it is a practice to be more conscious, to be conscious of what is in the now. Yeah. And what is in the now, there are four things that are in the now. They are the mental arisings, yeah, mentations, thoughts, images, voices. They are bodily and emotions, they are sensations, feelings aches and pains, emotional states, they are somehow somehow related to the body. Uh, even if we in psychology, it was like, oh, what do you feel? But you feel this thing somewhere in the body. Yeah, that's the second thing. Emotion and sensation is the second thing. The third thing that we can be aware of is this, the external sense, external sense perceptions through hearing, seeing, smelling, that's how we how that's how we know there is a world out there. <laughs> you know, we we know there is a world out there because we perceive uh, visuals and the wind on the skin and all of that. So that's the third thing, yeah. So we have uh, thoughts, feelings, and external sense perceptions. That's the third thing. And so being present starts with this this so-called mindfulness to be present to thoughts without getting lost in them without being in imagination and being aware of feelings without suppressing them or becoming sucked into them lost in the emotion and being aware of the trees and the clouds while still being aware of oneself, not being lost in them. And the fourth thing, I said there are only four things here that we can be present to. The fourth thing is, is that which is present, like that which is aware. Basically, now something in the listener is aware of there's some thoughts, some feelings, some there's this visual on the screen of this man with beard and glasses. And there is that which is aware, the presence. Yeah, the presence, consciousness, being, the real eye, whatever we call it. So uh, yeah. So all of this to be aware of this ever-changing phenomena. Just this is very hard for people. We are not doing it. People are not doing this. The normal state of people uh, is like constant stream of thoughts, lost in daydreaming, as they call it in the fourth way, imagination, uh, believing every thought that comes along, all the time lost in this imagined past and future. Yeah, we are not present to our thoughts. We are lost in the thoughts all the time, almost. Feelings. No, we are... Each state comes along, it's like, oh, I'm sad, I'm I'm afraid, I'm, 
you know, the feeling of sense of myself is locked, sucked, uh, enmeshed into our feelings. Yes. And then also we are, that is advanced to be able to not do that. And then even people who are very mindful, they practice mindfulness, this kind of being present. They are present. I'm present also. I'm, I'm drinking coffee now and aware of the body getting this and let's let's try. So instead of thinking about next day, I'm going to say I'm present to the coffee. Yeah, even this. There is the next level, which is being being aware of the silence of being. Being aware of this sense of aware presence. Yeah. So that in the fourth way, this would be true self-remembering. Uh, being aware of this, this world of objects, of content, and aware of one's presence at the same time. Yeah? Well, that requires a lot of effort to kind of start to have this a little bit, even a little bit. Uh, and without effort, we are just lost in identification and imagination slash daydreaming in, in all of this. So initially, one needs to make a lot of effort because we are asleep, basically. And in sleep, we are imagining ourselves, really. Imagining I am Mihai, that is this and that. You know, it's the, it's the consciousness being asleep, dreaming this seeming person who has problems and whatever but that's not how it is so for a long time one needs to make a lot of conscious effort in a in a certain in a certain way and one doesn't need no with precise guidance with ideally like a more conscious influence and if we don't do that it's bullshit it's just a spiritual masturbation um yeah about 